do as I say, not as I am about to do, because this could be a disaster. How much are you cutting off? I don't know. Can you fix this if I mess it up? Nope, I cannot. What's up guys, my name is Becca and you're watching our channel Royce and Becca where we post videos every week about marriage and family life. Today I'm doing something that is probably the best thing I could do today and equally the worst thing I could do today which is cutting my hair. <laughs> now before you freak out, I did work behind the chair as a hairstylist if you did not know that and I've cut plenty of people's hair. I have cut my own hair in the past and today I just am ready for a new look. I am going to be doing a modern shag, I guess you could call it. I have some curly textured hair and a modern shag is actually gonna bring out the natural texture. It's really just a ton of layers in your hair. I'm also going to be adding bangs. I haven't had bangs for like uh, 10 years, but I was like looking all over Pinterest and I was like, you know, maybe I'm just ready to try bangs again. And we're not really seeing people right now, so even if I don't like them, I can kind of hide for a little bit until they grow out and I can, you know, push them to the side. If you're considering bangs, it is almost a guarantee that you will hate them the first day. A lot of times you will need to train your bangs in order to get them to lay properly. And I can almost guarantee you today, my bangs are going to split in half because that's how my hair has been parting for the last, like, I don't know, three years. So all of you who are considering bangs, here's what I would say to you. Give it some time, train them a little bit, and eventually they will work the way you want them to. This isn't really a tutorial video. This is more a watch me cut my hair and see if it works out video <laughs> um, because I'm a little nervous. <laughs> I've actually had a modern shag with bangs a long time ago is a lot shorter, um, but I'm actually gonna keep this a little bit longer because I am not that brave to cut the length of my hair that much. I might be employing Royce to help me cut the length. He does not wanna do that, so we'll see how it goes. I'm actually gonna be cutting the layers in the fringe first and then see kind of what's left of the length and cut the length up to where it will blend with the rest of the haircut. The great thing about a shag slash mullet slash layered haircut is that I want as much texture and movement as possible. So the more messy it is, the better it, it, it will be. I'm gonna be cutting my hair mostly with a razor today, a little bit with some shears. And the razor is really just to give me some more PC textury vibe. If you decide to tackle this yourself, um, I wouldn't necessarily recommend a razor because you can really damage your hair. Your hair has to be really wet to use a razor and you really need very fresh, sharp razor blades. I just recently changed my razor blade so it's very fresh and my hair is going to be very wet. And so if you're at home and you have some scissors and you want a similar look as a razor, you could point cut. But the best thing you could do is go find your hairstylist and let them cut your hair. <laughs> Don't do what I'm doing. Do what I say. What's the saying? Do as I say, not as I am about to do, because this could be a disaster. But it's here, it grows back, let's have some fun. And maybe you're not brave enough to cut your own hair, but you can watch me cut my own hair, because why not? I have a mirror off to my left, off to my left, and that's what I'm gonna be looking at to cut my hair. I also have a cape. I have my table with my tools on them right here. I have one pair of shears, one razor, a few clips, and like 17 combs because I don't know which one's gonna work, and a spray bottle to keep my hair wet because again I'm cutting with a razor and it needs to stay wet. I actually cut my hair a few months ago and I didn't film it because I wasn't brave enough to film it, but you know, today I was like, why not? <laughs> All right. I really don't know why I put a cape on. Like, really gonna help protect my clothes from all the hair, but you know, it's too tight. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> okay, I'm just combing it out. My hair is really long right now, like just too long. Like, I just, I just shouldn't have hair this long right now. I'm also losing a lot of hair from postpartum shedding and I'm just, I just need, I just need to do something different with my life. All right, so my fringe area, I'm going to be going farther back into my hair than I normally would say because I want like a decent 
like long feathery bang. And a normal way to find out where your bangs should start is you put the comb on your head and then you tilt it back one and wherever it rests is where you can start your bangs. I might go a little bit farther back than that. <laughs> I probably shouldn't start with the bangs, but I'm just too excited. So I have to do the bangs and get them over with. First, I'm gonna section out all the hair in front of my ear because that is what's gonna give me the framing around my face. Okay, Royce just informed me the noise of the cape is gonna be annoying, so goodbye. All right, so I'm gonna actually clip this out of the way. Use my alligator clips. Is that line straight? Mm -hmm, sure. Is it? No, I'm serious, babe. Is it straight? I don't know, yes. I just need to come in here and add a, a thing. I'm just standing right off camera. <laughs> and Becca's asking me to help her with her hair. I have no desire to help her and then mess something up and then she has it for the rest of forever and hates um, me for messing up her hair. No. And I just don't wanna do it. I don't wanna provide any feedback because I don't want to be responsible. You're not gonna be responsible. This That's is, all I have to say about this that. Is, this is my thing, I get it. So you can already tell my hair is splitting. And that's what I mean by training your bangs. So I have them, have my hair section. So here's my little section. That is gonna be my starting off point of my bangs. One thing that I'm gonna do probably a lot today is kind of fluff up my hair and see where my hair lives because I kind of wanna cut it to where it lives, right? So it's naturally curly. So it's gonna kind of fluff up and I want my bangs to kind of be like just covering my eyebrow. And so I'm gonna cut like right in my eye line. Okay, so I have my my shark fin shears that I used to work behind the chair with and we're just gonna, we're just gonna do this. Let's just go. I'm gonna start off longer than I want them because I can always go shorter, but you can't go back. A lot of times what I do is, even when I would do hair, I would cut like the beginning parts of the bangs um, wet and then I would always finish them dry because, you know, bangs are a finicky thing. So I'm taking a even bigger triangle section and adding it to the front. I'm gonna use this stuff as a guide. Razor off. Don't you worry. <laughs> Telling myself that. So I've added a little bit more fringe and what I'm gonna do is just kind of slide this down and blend it into the bottom. So this razor, I couldn't find the one that came with my <laughs> actual shears. So I'm using one that I bought like a million years ago from Walmart, but it's got a like a professional blade on it. So that you get from a salon store. And just keep trimming. I'm actually gonna start cleaning up some of these layers. I'm gonna take out some weight slide cutting this. <laughs> These suckers are gonna take a while to train. Okay, so I'm just resectioning out something similar to what I first cut. Cut them a little shorter. Not to fear. Not to fear. Now I'm gonna just add in my back section. Blending with the razor. This is really just, what I'm doing is face framing. Yes, look at those bangs. This is one way you can train your bangs. You just clip them. Or bobby pin, you can even put a card, a playing card, like in the clip so it doesn't make it crease. It's gonna trim the ends because Royce doesn't want to do it. You sure you don't want to do it? All you have to do is cut like right across the back. Okay, I'll try. So I'm just gonna section out the stuff behind my ears for him, and that's all he's gonna cut. My hair is not very thick, so he literally just has to cut right across the, bo the bottom. I've never cut anyone's hair before. Just straight down. Like my hair is all come, like, come together? Yeah, I mean, it's just all down in a straight line. Right. It's like a piece of paper. How do I know if the comb is even? You just measure it with the floor. You can point cut like this, babe. Okay, what does that do? It creates a softer line. Okay. So it's not as blunt. Well, it looks even. Okay. It's like oh a normal pair gosh. of scissors. 
Yeah, I was never good with scissors, okay? You probably cannot mess this up. This is the easiest haircut you will ever give in your life. Just don't cut my shirt. I like this shirt. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay. It's really okay. I'm not gonna be mad at you. Okay. This is the worst. How much are you cutting off? I don't know. Can you fix this if I mess it up? Nope. I cannot. You probably shouldn't be in the hair industry. I know. I think we've all come to that decision. And the hair is drying, so you need to work a little faster. Oh gosh. Okay, I think you're done. Perfect. Ugh. Oh, that was great, babe. Good job. Babe, that was amazing. Look how curly my bangs are. Because this is a shag haircut, the layers I'm not very concerned about because the messier, the better. That's one of the reasons why I'm cutting with a razor because it'll kind of all blend together. I think that's one thing. One of the things I loved about cutting with a razor was that you know, you can just kind of have fun with that. And then one thing I'm gonna do with the back is actually kind of section out my crown. I'm actually gonna twist this and cut it. One of the reasons why I wanted to do this kind of haircut was right now I've just been wearing my hair a lot more natural curl and my hair does best with lots and lots of layers. And I think a lot of times when I've had people cut my hair, I'm just like, make it so curly. Just make it so curly. I just want it so curly. I'm cutting with a razor. It's so fun. So I am reached a point in the haircut where I'm going to dry it and style the back a little bit and then finish the fringe. So I will be right back. All right, so I'm back. I blow dried my bangs and um, I started cutting just a little bit in front of the mirror, but I thought I would not do that and come back to you guys. But I just wanted to show you how my natural curl is like already loving this haircut. I'm a bigger is better type person when it comes to haircut, kind of like feeling Texas-y, you know, in my haircut vibes, you know, higher the hair, closer to heaven. What I think I'm gonna do is take a little bit more weight out of them so that I can see, because <laughs> right now I cannot see. By doing it like little tiny sections and then pulling more, you're creating some like depth in the hair. So it's not just like one straight across bang, because I don't want that. Okay, because we're at a point where <laughs> And I'm going almost straight up with my shears. And what that's going to do is um, be less, um, it'll be a little thinner of a cut, you know, not as like blunt. See how deep I'm going in? Just, and I want them to kind of stay longer on the edges. But this is to get that real PC, PC look. And I already saw my attitude is changing. I just feel all like, woohoo! So right now I'm just taking these like pieces that look heavy and I am, you're gonna freak out. Taking, I'm gonna freak out because I can't see what I'm doing. Just taking a tiny little snip. If you cut with the same way that the hair is going and cut a little tiny little snip, you just take out a little bit of weight. That is why I love bangs because I could wake up, my hair is like a big hot mess, but throw a little like spray in it, let the curl reinfuse, hit the bangs with a blow dryer, and Bob's your uncle, you know? I actually do have an Uncle Bob. I'm doing something I told you not to do, but I'm gonna do it. I'm actually gonna take my razor and take out a little bit of weight. So this is actually going to probably make my hair frizz more because you're not supposed to Cut your hair dry with a razor, so don't do this. I'm pleasantly surprised with this. This is pretty close to how I wanted it to look. I only put one product in my ends, and that was Mistress, which is an IGK product. I'll link it in the description below. But it's just bringing out my natural curl and having less weight with all of my hair gone now with layers, it just is like, whew. My hair is wanting to go up. It's wanting to be lifted and I love it so much. So bangs like these, you need to trim them like every two weeks because they just grow so fast. 
into your whole life. My hair is almost completely dry. Actually, I think it is completely dry. And this is just air dried and I styled my bangs a little bit. <laughs> this is why I love layers of my hair because it just comes alive. You know, sometimes you just need to let go of some things and then life will happen, you know? In an everyday situation, I would be fine with how this looks right now because it's just fun and crazy and that's how I feel like I am sometimes. But for the sake of styling and getting a nice picture at the end, <laughs> I'm just gonna hit it with my one inch curling iron and I'm not going to go crazy. I'm just, honestly what I'm doing is just taking the parts that were a little frizzy from um, drying naturally to um, just smooth that out a little bit. Nothing too crazy because I don't want it to feel too proper. Sometimes I just don't know what to do with my hair. And I think what I always keep coming back to is I should just always do layers. I just love layers and I don't know why I ever just like go away from them. I just want more and more and more. I feel like my hair would have worked really well in like the 80s. Honestly, I don't want to do too much because I don't want it to feel too done. I want it to feel undone. I'm gonna throw a little beach club in there because why not make it more crazy? This is beach club from IGK. It's a texturizing spray. I feel like all of us girls, whenever we do our hair, we get this look like, <laughs> it's like blue steel. I don't know why. I'm gonna finish with the soft finish hairspray from Purology. It gives a nice shine. Um, I'm probably, before I go out on my photo shoot tonight, I'm gonna spray it with some hard hold hairspray, especially my bangs, because they're gonna So I just wanna protect them a little bit. But I'll start off with this. Pause. Woohoo! I feel like a whole new woman. This is what I needed. Maybe that's you today. Maybe you need to do something different. Go cut your hair. Maybe you don't cut it, but like have somebody cut it that knows what they're doing. Just so you know, yes, I am a cosmetologist. I work behind the chair. I kind of knew what I was doing, hoping that it would work out, and I feel like it did. I like it. I just needed something new, you know? Royce doesn't want to do the sign-off with me, so. I'll come do the sign-off. <laughs> this is Royce and Becca signing off. <laughs> no. <laughs> come back here. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you liked it, leave a like. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. Hit the bell so you get notifications every time we post new videos. And let me know, are you gonna try a new hairstyle? Maybe get some bangs, maybe have a uh, mullet? I'm not doing any of this sign off. You can't do any of it. You look pretty though. Thanks. Are you gonna say goodbye? Bye. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys, we'll see you next week.